Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, SAP with IK. Hope you're all doing good. So today in this video, we'll discuss on how the MRP calculates when we have a safety stock requirement op open for the material along with the planned independent requirements and where the lot size is actually a fixed lot size. So let's get into SAP and see how this works. <music> So here we are in SAP. Uh, so let me directly go to the transaction MD04. And here I have uh, the finished product and the plant, which is uh, my example. So if I show you the uh, material master parameters here, uh, this is a finished product with an in-house manufactured uh, procurement type. And also the lot size is actually a fixed lot size with a fixed lot size quantity of uh, 300 pieces. Right, so we expect that uh, every proposal that gets created uh, based on the requirement, so then the lot size of that particular proposal will always be 300. So that's how the fixed lot size usually works, right? We know that. So now uh, by looking at the stock statistics here for the material, we can see that the available stock in the plant is 116 pieces. And now the safety stock for this material is uh, 90 pieces which is actually consumed uh, from the available plant stock. And with the consumption of 90 pieces from the available stock, we are left over with the balance 26 pieces. So now since we have an uh, open independent requirement for 400 pieces, based on the calculation here, like 400 minus 26, it is 374 in negative. You can see this minus symbol over there, right? So it means that we are shortage of 374 pieces in order to meet the requirement on the independent requirement. So now let's try to understand uh, how the safety stock actually uh, is being consumed and how MRP basically deals with uh, the creation of proposals in this particular scenario. So now since the safety stock is uh, given the most priority uh, among all the requirements, so as soon as you have a stock uh, in the available uh, quantity of the material. So that gets first allocated to the safety stock and the balanced material or the leftover stock will be allocated to the subsequent uh, requirements. So it can be a sales order or it can be an independent requirement or it can be a, re a reservation, so on and so forth. So now if I execute MRP, what we expect is that there should be planned orders of a fixed lot size for 300 pieces. So now here, I'm saying it as a planned order, why? Because this is an in-house manufactured item. So in the same scenario, if the procurement type is an external procured item, then we can expect a purchase requisition or even a planned order that will be converted to a purchase requisition at a uh, later point of time. So let's uh, run MRP and see how this works. So I'm going into the favorites. So MRP has been executed. And please do watch my other videos on how to add your favorite, your uh, most used uh, transactions as your favorites in the MD04. So now we have executed MRP and back to MD04. So let me refresh the list. Let me minimize the material parameters here. Yeah. So now we can see that there are two planned orders created for 300 pieces each, right? So why are we getting actually two planned orders, two different planned orders for uh, the 300 pieces? The reason is that since we have the fixed lot size as defined with the lot size quantity as 300, so system is always going to create a proposal that is of uh, the fixed lot size quantity, which is 300 in this particular example. So now if we look at the calculation here based on the uh, stock and also the requirements. So the available stock is 116 and then we have a safety stock of 90 where we are left over with a 26 pieces. And after that, we have an open independent requirement or the uh, LSF requirement here for 400 pieces where we are left over with a shortage of uh, 374 pieces. So now to fulfill this uh, requirement, we can actually create one particular uh, planned order, one single planned order for the total quantity. But since we are using the fixed lot size, system is going to create uh, one planned order with the 300 pieces, 
and then we are with a shortage of again 74 pieces right so to meet this requirement again it has created another planned order with the fixed lot size quantity of 300 where we are now in an excess of 226 pieces in the stock so now if i change the uh, lot size of this material from fixed lot size to the uh, lot for lot quantity let me show you that so here i'm going to make it as an ex so ex basically stands for the lot for lot order quantity so this is basically you know uh, based on the requirement or the shortage uh, that is needed to fulfill the demand so that qu quantity will be created as in one single planned order or a purchase requisition so here i am just using the lot size as ex and if i just hit on enter so then system is telling me that the fixed lot size is not required in this particular lot sizing procedure right so now it has been removed automatically by the system itself and i'm going to save this so so let's go back to md04 refresh the screen so now nothing happens right but if i rerun the mrp for this material go back refresh the screen and now you can see that there is only one planned order with a total shortage quantity of 374 pieces so that's how uh, the mrp basically behaves when we are using a fixed lot size and a lot for lot order quantity that's all for today guys thanks for watching